Hey, I'm Josh. I'm an Amazon seller. I'm going to show you how to get ungated in Adidas. You don't need a business LLC. You don't need a seller certificate. You don't need thousands of dollars to do it either. I'm going to show you how to go through a wholesale distributor, buy some products, and then you can take the invoice from that order, send it into Amazon, and Amazon will ungate you slash unrestrict you and allow you to sell Adidas products like backpacks, shoes, socks, shirts, hats, all that cool stuff, and I'm actually gonna show you how to do it right now. Okay, so we're on our computer here, and I'm gonna walk you through how to do this, but first, I have to throw out a disclaimer, and that is that there are no 100% guarantees with Amazon and getting ungated. Something that's worked in the past, or that's working right now, or that's worked for me or for other people I know, may or may not work in the future for you, Amazon is constantly changing their policies for what they will and will not accept. They're like a crazy ex-girlfriend and you never know what they're going to say or do. So take that for what it's worth. But I've used this company before to get ungated in a few things. And I know other people who have recently. So I have no reason to believe this won't work for you. But I cannot guarantee it 100%. And another thing I want to mention is that you need to watch this entire video. I'm not clickbaiting you. I'm actually going to show you how to get ungated but I'm going to cover how this company contacts you and how you get the invoice from them. It's a little unorthodox, and I don't want you to miss it or mess it up. And I'm also going to cover how to submit the invoice to Amazon because Amazon actually rejected the invoice for this company the very first time I sent it in, so I had to resubmit it, and I want to cover exactly how I got it approved. And I've gotten ungated in a few items using that same invoice, and it's worked every time since then. So watch this entire video because I'm going to cover some pretty important stuff that you need to know. Okay, so the company that we're going to use is called United Perfumes. They're a wholesale distributor of perfumes and colognes. I believe that's the only thing that they sell, and they're based out of Florida. But on their website, it does say that they do ship worldwide. So if you live outside the United States, I believe you can still use this company, but you'll have to look into it a little further. And let's go to their website. And as you probably would have guessed, it is just spelled unitedperfumes.com. So type that into the browser here. And here's what the website looks like. It's not super professional, but this is a real company, and I've gotten ungated using it before. Um, they don't ask for any seller certificate or tax information or business LLC or any of that stuff. They'll work with pretty much anybody. And I do want to point out there is a $350 minimum order. That's what it says right here underneath the search bar. And you will have to pay for shipping too. So it will cost about um, $350 to $400 uh, to place an order from them. And it says right here, it says we ship worldwide. So that looks good. And we're here to get ungated in Adidas. So we're going to go to the top left and go to all brands and click on that. And we're going to click on Adidas. And that takes us to this page where there are a bunch of colognes here and they're all 550. So I'm going to show you how to look these up and make sure that Amazon is actually selling it because in the future, when you're watching this, I have no idea if they're going to be out of stock of something or what they're going to have. So I'm going to show you how to look it up. So let's just pick this one right here. It's Adidas Get Ready Cologne in the middle here. So we'll click on that. And the thing that's really nice about this company or this website is that they give you the UPC down here, which is so great to look up. So we're going to copy the UPC for this product. So edit, copy. And now we're going to go to our Seller Central account and log in. I'm logged in here, and you would just go up to Catalog and Add Products here. And then we're going to paste that UPC from that Adidas cologne right in there. And we're going to search for it. And you just want to make sure that this is actually being sold and it matches. So visually, we'll just look at it, and yep, it says Get Ready, and it looks like the same bottle. Is it the same size, 3.4 ounces? Cool, yeah. So let's go back here. Double check. Yep, everything looks good. So that is a product that Amazon sells. And this brings me to another good point is that there's two listings here. So I didn't bring this up earlier, but you need to order at least 10 of each of these in order to get ungated in Adidas or any product for that matter. I don't make the rules. That's just what they're looking for. They need to see 10 on the invoice at least to get ungated um, because if you, wanted, if you were trying to get ungated in this three-pack, Amazon would actually need to see that you ordered 30 bottles. So you don't want to do that. So you'd want to get ungated for this single one here. Okay, so that looks good. And 
we're just going to add 10 of these to the cart. So we got 10 and then add, whoops, I keep clicking the wrong button there. Add to cart. Product successfully added. So you can scroll up here and now our cart says $55 on the top right here. Now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Josh, it's a $350 minimum order. It says right there. And if we order 10 of these, that's only $55 total. So we're not even close. So if you wanted to, and you just wanted to get ungated in Adidas fast right now, uh, you could just go ahead and order. I think you'd need to order about 70 of these and that would get you up to that $350 mark for your order. But what I actually recommend doing is, and I'm going to go up here and we're going to go through some of their other brands and I'm going to recommend a few brands that I come across that I think you might too. But you know, if you want to do your own research, that's totally cool. And if you know, you, you come across Armani stuff right here all the time, then go for it. But I'm going to make a few recommendations here. So down below that, I'm going to click on Barbie and it brings up this perfume here. And this is actually the perfume that I used in this company to get ungated in Barbie. So we'll click on that. And also make sure you double check. We're going to copy the UPC here. So edit, copy, and then make sure that Amazon is actually selling this product. So you'll do this for each product, or at least I recommend doing that. Okay, cool. There's the Barbie perfume. Does it match? Does it visually look the same? And is it the same size, 3.4 ounces? And it looks like that. Yep, that looks like the exact same product. So we're good. So you would just add 10 of these to your cart. So here we go. Add to cart. Product has been added. So now our cart total is 142. So let's go down here and I'll pick out another brand that I think you might come across quite a bit. Uh, let's see. Okay, Disney. I would recommend getting ungated in Disney. And let's see here. Uh, this one, right, this Snow White looking one here. Let's click on that. It's eight seventy five. dollars um, And again, you would just, I'm not going to do it this time, but you just copy the UPC here and then double check on Amazon to make sure that they're selling. I know that they're selling this. Uh, so you can add 10 of these to your cart. So let's do that. Or you can pick out another product there. If you saw something else you like, go for it. So add to cart. That brings our total up to 230. We're getting there. So Disney. Now let's try. And they got some real high end stuff on here like Gucci and Hugo Boss. If you come into contact with that stuff and you want to get ungated and you have a whole bunch of money, go for it. Uh, but I'm going to keep it around that $350 mark. So let's see. The next one would be. I'd kind of recommend, I think, Marvel. I think Marvel is the way to go here. And I do know that, scroll down here, this gift set right here is on Amazon. So we'll, you can click on that and I'll take a closer look at it. Um, so we'll add 10 of those to the cart. Okay, so that's our total. Now we're at the $350 mark. We're above it. So uh, let's go view cart. Okay, so we're looking at our cart here, and let's just double check and make sure everything looks right. There's our four products, and there's the total that we agreed on at $357.50, so we're good. And the frequently asked questions, yes, we're above the $350 minimum order, so we're good. And after you submit your order here, they're going to contact you to confirm the order. So you're not actually paying for it right now or placing the order. And how do I pay? I paid using PayPal. They sent me a PayPal link and I believe that's how you're going to have to pay as well. So you need a PayPal account. If you're a reseller, I'm just assuming that you already have a PayPal account. It's super easy to set up if you don't have one. Uh, so the next thing you're going to do is click get a quote over here under the price. And again, you're not actually placing the order here. And the first thing it's going to ask for is your email address. So put in your email address that you use here. So I put in greg at aol.com. That's not really my email address. And we're going to click continue as guest. 
Now, and they need to know your shipping information, and all this needs to match whatever Amazon has on file for you. So we're going to put in our real name here, Greg Roberts. And for company name, you want to put in your store name here. So make sure that matches super awesome store. That's not really my store name. And put your actual phone number in here. This is really important because this is how they contact you. So 555-555-5555, I think. <laughs> and put your address that matches with Amazon. So 123 Main Street and City. We're going to go with Fort Worth. I'm just making this address up. And we're in the United States. And the state will be, let's go with Alaska. Postal code um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Whoops. Okay, and billing and address the same as the shipping? Sure, why not? So, Or, you know, if you need to change it, go ahead. But make sure all this stuff matches for Amazon. So we'll click continue here. And here, you're just going to place, you're going to hit place order. Now, you're not actually placing the order here. So this is very important, and I'm going to cover how they contact you right now. So you're going to hit this place order button, and what's going to happen is actually nothing. So about a week later, after I hit place order, I got a random text message from a random number I didn't recognize. And the text message just said, Hi, this is so-and-so from United Perfumes. Are you still interested and getting a quote on the order that you placed. And then I text back to this person. I said, yes. And this all happened in real time. And after I said yes, then about a minute or two later, the person said, okay, uh, let me put a quote together for you. And then they sent me a PDF quote right in my text message thread for me to approve. And it was just a quote. So I opened up the PDF and everything looked good. And she had to go back and make sure that they had all the products and everything in storage. And so I approved. I said, yes, the quote looks good. And then they sent me a link right in the text message thread for a, it was a PayPal link to pay the fly, uh, the plus shipping, you know, it was about $400 or so. And I paid the PayPal payment. And then after it was paid, you know, this is all in real time in about 10 or 15 minutes, the person had sent me the actual invoice that I needed as a PDF file. So it's all done in text messaging thread. It's a little bit weird. And if you're not paying attention to your text messages and you miss it, you might mess it up. And then about a week or two later after I'd paid and everything, my stuff came in a box and it was all good. And you need the invoice. The invoice does not come in the box with the products. You're going to need to use the invoice that they sent to you in the text messaging thread as a PDF. And you're going to need to print that off. Okay, so now I just wanted to quickly walk you through how you're going to submit your invoice through the Seller Central site to get ungated in Adidas. So at this point, you're going to want to have your products and your invoice uh, to go on to this next step. So you want to be logged in here to your Seller Central account and go to the top left-hand corner down to Catalog and hit Add Products. And it will take you to this page where you'll just simply type in the UPC for your Adidas product. So I'll just use the UPC for the one I had for the example and it takes us to this page, which should look familiar because there's our product. And you'll go over to the right and where it says select condition and do new. Now, I'm not gated in this product, uh, so it just says sell this product. But for you, it will say apply to sell in this dark box here. So I'm actually going to pick a product that I know I'm gated in so that I can guide you through the next part of the process. So let's do Gucci bag. And I know I'm gated in this, so we'll go to the right here and do select condition new and see how it says apply to sell here. So you'll click on that for your Adidas product. And it takes you to this page and it will say you need approval to sell Adidas branded and new used refurbished collectible condition. So you just hit request approval. And then you're on this page, which is just simply asking you for documentation, which will be your invoice that you're about to submit. And it's just, there's some criteria. It must be purchased within the last 180 days. It must include your name and address matching the information on your selling account. And it must include the name and address of the manufacturer or distributor. And it must show the combined purchase of at least 10 units. And they may verify with the company 
to make sure it's legit, which it should be because if you followed all the steps I had, you're all good to go. So once you've done all that, you're gonna click select files here and you're gonna upload the photos of your invoice. And I'm gonna show you how I've been taking photos of the invoice and the products and how it's been getting approved for me. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how I've been taking photos of the invoice and the products in order to get approved and how it's been working for me. So you wanna print off your invoice and have an actual paper copy of it. We'll just pretend like that's our invoice. And you're gonna snap a photo. The very first photo you take and submit is just the invoice. And you wanna be able to see all four sides of it. And you wanna be able to clearly read whatever's on it. So you would just get in nice and close and take a picture of it. And that's what you would submit for the first picture. And the second picture, let's just pretend like this is our box of perfumes that we just got. Yay, Adidas. And so the second picture, I'm gonna open the box and I'm gonna take all 10 of the products and just set them right next to the box here. Like so. And then now I'm gonna snap a picture where I include all 10 of the products, the invoice, and this is important, the shipping label, which up here on the return center, it's gonna have United Perfumes up there. So you wanna be able to clearly read that and so then I'll just kind of zoom out to here and snap a picture so you can see all the stuff that I've got there. And that's basically it. That's how I've been getting it approved through Amazon. Okay, so we're back on the page where you submit your invoice and the photos that you just took. So you would hit select files right here in the middle and just upload the photos that you just took. And then below that, it's optional, but you can put in the ASIN for the item that you're trying to get ungated in right here that might help them. And below that, you need to put in your email address. That's how they're gonna contact you, or at least that's how they always contact me in these situations. And below that, it's optional. You can put in your phone number. I don't think they're gonna contact you that way, even if you did put it in there. Uh, and then below that, you just hit submit once you've got all that done. And it takes about two or three days for them to get back to you at the latest. And you should have no problem. I've been getting ungated doing exactly this. But if they reject your invoice, don't freak out. It happens sometimes. You just have to resubmit it. And if they reject it again, just resubmit it again. Keep resubmitting it. They do give you a reason when they reject it, but a lot of times it doesn't really make any sense. Uh, but don't freak out if they reject it. And you should get approved here. So there you go. That's how you get ungated in Adidas, or at least that's one of the ways I know on how to get ungated. If you found this video helpful, Give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more useful content like this. That's really all I got for you today. I'm Josh. That's what I did today, and I'll see you next time.